Hey crafters, I'm Daniela with DD's Art Workshop. For today's DIY, we will be making a scarecrow wreath. If you like staying on a budget and DIYs, this channel is for you. I will list materials used and links in the description below. This DIY was inspired by the Keeper of Cheerios. Let's jump right in and let's get crafty. You will need one pizza pan and two packets of clothespins of 36. I bought mine at Dollar Tree. I started off with painting my pizza pans and pins. I actually bought the wrong paint as you can see but that's okay because I had some beige and gold glitter at home which I used after using this one. Acrylic paint will also work. I bought these two large felt sheets at Michael's for like $1.99 and they are 12 by 18 inches. And as always, don't forget to use your coupon which I always make sure to use. This is going to be our scarecrow's hat. The shape of this is kind of like the top of an acorn I think. I traced my already cut felt on my second sheet and I'm just going to be cutting that one as well. I then gave it more of a little shape to my hat just like you see here. Once I have reached the desired shape, I'm going to be gluing it down with my glue gun. If you want, you can even sew this part down. You can cut some of the little extra felt that you might have with some scissors. Now that it's all dry and glued down, I'm going to be turning my hat carefully inside out. Now you should have sort of a cone shape to your hat. And I will be adding some wave shapes to the bottom of my hat just like so. I have this extra pizza pan from my craft stash and I'm going to be trying it on my pan to see how it fits. I have some twine that I bought from Dollar Tree and I'm simply going to be tying it around. I wanted to give the hat a little bit more of a firm look, so I'm going to be adding some thick poster board. You may also use carton. I gave it a similar shape to the hat, just smaller, and I will just put inside the hat. Here, I'm just making sure the twine is on tightly to give it more of a shape. I had some burlap ribbon at home and I'm going to simply make some patches. Some felt will also work for this part. Twine and burlap can get a little messy so I'm cleaning with a lint roller. I'm adding some small sunflowers to my hat for a small touch. I love how Dollar Tree and Michaels carry 99 cent bouquets if you're just needing a few small flowers. Okay, now that our pizza pan and pins are dry, we can move along to the fun part, painting the face with acrylic paints. I found this adorable face online and I had to recreate it because it was too cute. You may also purchase this face if you don't feel like painting on yourself. I will include the link below on the Etsy page.
have already added my clips and to be honest I really wasn't happy with the beige I used so I'm going to be using this cafe latte acrylic paint I already had at home and I'm simply painting lightly on my pins I'm adding my hat and removing the pins I don't feel that I need with your glue gun, simply add some glue on your carton and you can glue down your pizza pan. For my scarecrow's hair, I'm adding some natural looking dried grass. I bought a bag at Michael's for about $4. Tie down some strands with some twine and glue down with your glue gun. It's almost fall and it reminds me of Ecclesiastes 3.1. There is a time and a season for every activity under heaven. If you enjoyed this inspired DIY, don't forget to like and subscribe for more projects. Stay crafty!